Friends, I made my point earlier, but they don't have it. just made it for me a second time. The point I was making to you was, he's trying to convince the Orthodox when he speaks to them that he will coerce the non-Orthodox, but that's what he's going to do. He's trying to convince the secular to beat up on the Arabs, not on them. He gives you code words, but listen to what you heard at this very moment. He denies what I said, he claimed it was indecency, and then turned on that quote his exact words three minutes ago. Jews who sin bring punishment on all of us. What does that mean? Anybody understands halakha and the theology of Judaism? The answer is, therefore, you by not keeping Shabbos by eating pork are going to bring the damnation of God down on the state of Israel, which will be destroyed by your behavior. Right. Therefore, right. 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 he promised you all the whole search to be that him or not. But that's what he promises you this year. In 1970, he promised he would not propose evicting the Arabs. In 1964, he said he, was, he wasn't interested in Soviet Jewry. He changed his mind every year. And so, will you guarantee, or will you, will you get uh, air purifiers that will prevent the smell of pork from coming out of the street where it might be considered public ground, and then he has an excuse to get it. And again, of course, you talk about the moral judgment of people and of the world we're living with. On the land, the Israel population is split now, 50 and 50 on giving it back, although I argue they will switch when the Arabs switch. But on expulsion, there's an overwhelming consensus, as there is on the question of how you treat non observant Jews. What is the one thing which the Chia agrees with Barthamon? What is the one thing Rav Shaf agrees with Rav Riskin, who he denounces? Rav Riskin agrees with A.B. Hoshua, who he debates with and rejects. The answer is that expulsion is a moral offense and is a violation of every fundamental Jewish principle. But that same expulsion that is threatened to Arabs is threatened against Jews. That's what the code word means. Anybody who can bring the destruction of the state of Israel is the enemy of the state of Israel. By Kahana's logic, any non-Orthodox Jew is guilty of those crimes and it therefore will sooner or later have to be eliminated. Against that, I offer up a Salavechik suggestion that we have a brief goral and a brief yud. We have a brief of faith, a covenant of faith, any Jew who shares the suffering, history, responsibility, and action of the Jewish people is a legitimate partner that includes reform, conservative, constructionist, and secular Jews. And according to the Chazanish, the right wing doyen, the greatest scholar of the traditional community, there will be, there are no happy person in our time that the whole category should not be used. It applies only when there are visible miracles. That is the authentic Jewish way. Accept it. 
whether the secular Jew will be happy with Kahana or not. If I have the majority, you had better believe that I would expect every Jew to obey the law just as I do under governments that I do not like.